Welcome everybody to another tutorial on Adobe Illustrator CS5. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Perspective Grid. Um, this is a great tool to use if you're into 3D illustrating, and even if you're not, you might uh, get into it uh, when you see this tool being used. So let's get started. I'm going to come over here to the View, uh, Perspective Grid, and click Show Grid. You can also use the shortcut Control shift i and that will bring up the grid as well. Next, let's take the um, Perspective Grid tool, and you can click Shift-P, or you can select it over in the toolbox there, and this allows us to adjust the size of the grid. I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, the next tool we have here is the Perspective Selection tool, or Shift-V, and right over here we have the three sides, and we can hit on our keyboard, one, two, and three, and we can uh, start drawing on each perspective. So let's start off with number one, and I have a gradient here selected. I'm going to pick my shape here, and that's one side, and I'll hit number three for the other side. So as you see, already I'm building on top of this grid really quickly and Illustrator is guiding me with the perspective. And that's really cool. I mean, really simple to do and really um, a cool tool to use. Um, the next thing we're going to do is let's build on top of this building here. And I'm going to select some stars. And while I have the tool selected, I'm going to hit number one. And I'm going to take the first star right here. And let's just move it over here. But now I'm going to take this tool, or you can hit uh, Shift V and hit Alt. And as you can see, as I'm hitting, um, I'm copying this. Illustrator is giving a perspective. Now I'm going to hit number three for the uh, other side. Add another star. And with the tool, I'm not, this time I'll hit Alt and Shift and this keeps it aligned really great stuff I mean this is really really cool stuff from Adobe um, and as you as you see you can actually build uh, 3d illustrations now really simply um, so say you like this grid and you want to save it let's let's save the grid and you can reuse it uh, for the future which is an, another great feature here so we can go to view perspective grid define grid uh, let's save preset Let's call it um, New Tutorial Grid. Hit OK. Hit OK again. So now that we just saved the grid, we can come back here to View, Perspective Grid, and let's go to Two Point Perspective. And right here, we have the New Tutorial Grid. So um, in other projects that you're working on, you can bring up this grid again and load it while you're in the project another great feature so um, this is a really cool um, way of uh, illustrating 3D for people that are not familiar with illustrating um, in 3D this is something that will help you a lot I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you guys later